This is part 44 of Bootstrap Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to manually trigger a Bootstrap tooltip. One of the options that can be passed to the tooltip method is the trigger option. The trigger option specifies how the tooltip should be triggered. Here are the values that can be used with the trigger option. Multiple triggers can be specified by separating them with a single space. This manual trigger cannot be combined with any other triggers. Let's understand this trigger option with an example. Let's design a web page with this label name, text box, and this info icon. So let's flip to Visual Studio. First, let's include the label name. Let's also include an input element of type text. Let's give it an ID. Let's call it TXT name. Let's also include the title attribute. The value for this title attribute is going to be bootstrap tooltip. The title attribute value will be displayed as the tooltip. We also need to include data dash toggle attribute and the value for this attribute should be tooltip. And we also need this info icon next to the text box. To get this info icon, we are going to use this bootstrap glyph icon. Look at the name, glyph icon, glyph icon info sign. So to get that icon next to the text box, let's include a span element and the class of this one is going to be glyph icon, glyph icon info sign. And let's use the jQuery ID selector within this ready function. Find the text box by its ID and on this we are going to call tooltip method. At the moment notice we have not specified any explicit value for the trigger option. Let's save our changes, reload our web page. The default value for the trigger option is hover focus. So the default is multiple triggers, meaning when the text box receives focus, look at that, at the moment the focus is within the address bar. Now when I press the tab key, the text box receives focus and as soon as the text box receives focus, look at that, the tooltip is triggered. Similarly, when we hover over this text box, the text box tooltip is triggered. That's because the default trigger value is hover focus. Now let's say for example, instead of triggering the tooltip on hover or focus, we want it to be triggered only when we click on this text box. We can very easily achieve that by using the trigger option. So let's go ahead and pass the trigger option to our tooltip method. So the value for this trigger option is going to be click. Let's see what changes, reload our page and at this point look at that when I hover you know over this text box or when the text box receives focus the tooltip is not triggered but when we click within the text box that's when the tooltip is triggered. Now instead of triggering this tooltip on click on this text box we want that tooltip to be triggered when we click on this icon. Now to achieve that, we are going to use manual trigger. So the first thing that I'm going to do is set the trigger option to manual. Let's save our changes, reload our page. And at this point, look at this, when we click in within the text box or when the text box receives focus or when we hover over this text box, you know, we don't get the tooltip triggered. And even when we click on this icon, you know, the tooltip is not triggered. We will have to handle the click event and then manually call the tooltip method. So first of all, let's give this icon an ID. So let's call this info icon and then let's use jQuery ID selector within our ready function. Find the icon and let's associate click event handler. So when we click on the icon, we want to execute some code which is going to be part of this function. So what do we want to do? We want to find this text box using its ID. And then we are going to call the tooltip function. And we are going to pass the string toggle. Let's see what changes. 
reload our web page and at this point look at this when we click on the icon the bootstrap tooltip is triggered if I click on the icon once again the tooltip will be dismissed so it's toggling the tooltip there now if you want the tooltip to be triggered on hover of this icon simply change the event handler from click to hover let's say what changes reload our web page and at this point when we hover over this info icon look at that the tooltip is triggered thank you for listening and have a great day